Hello everyone, Andesituai here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. So before we uh, start this episode, I just have to show a few things. So first up, uh, you know in our in our last episode, you know uh, I had my Paldean Wooper Crossbones that evolved into uh, I think it was Claude Sire. That was the name of the new Pokemon. And well, I mean Claude Sire is a pretty cool looking Pokemon and all. But one thing about them is they don't really have the golden crossbones on them. So I actually renamed my Claude Sire. They used to be known as Crossbones, but now they shall be known as Blob. That's the new name I gave them. And also, I also nicknamed my Gimme Gold Treasure because they're basically in a, tr in a treasure chest. So I thought it was a pretty nice name. But anyways, in this episode, what I want to try to do is... I believe what I'm trying to do is uh, beat the water type gym. Yes, yeah, way over here. Because I think I need to level up before taking on the Team Star uh, crews because they're really powerful. So let's just head this way towards the next gym. This is a new path. I mean, this is like like near the path that we were on last episode to the Open Sky Titan, but this is like a new area. So you know, it's a new area. Sports. Just go around and you know, just see what there is. Then we can venture to head over to the Water Type gym. Okay, can I can I get up there? No, I can't. I can't. Or can I? Oh ha! There we go. Let's just pick up some items, and okay, wow, it's a big drop. Okay, I guess we'll go down this way. Also, I think, I think that might be near where we need to go, or is it? Actually, I don't know. Okay, well, uh, the gym is this way, and I, I mean, we sh if there's any water we have to go over, we should be able to get through it, because, you know, in the last episode, we, where we unlocked being able to uh, ride Mirrodon across water. Oh, I already, oh, I already bowed the, oh, actually, I, I've been in this area before. Oh, I, I, but I think I have to cross the water now, okay. Okay, well, thankfully I can do that now. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to encounter that tad bulb. Okay. Well, actually, I want to try to level up uh, Steeny and, well, Steeny and Flappy, because uh, they'll be good for the Water-type gym, so let's try to use them as much as we can this episode. I guess I'll start out with Flappy. I mean, I, I guess Steeny would technically be better, but... Uh, wait, well, why are you using your floaty thing? We're not on the water. Okay, I guess the game thinks we're on the water, since we're technically above it. That's the, okay, we, we found one of the crazy glitches in this game, it seems. Let's go. Okay. Okay, actually, this might take a while, actually. Okay, I'll just keep tackling. Okay, yeah, that's so funny. They have the floaty thingy, like, when they're not even on the water. Also, you can, like, zoom in the camera and get rid of this now. It just looks like Flappy's floating. Okay, yeah. Okay, I mean, the, I mean, I, I think I heard that they were, like, the, I guess, Game Freak was thinking of, like, fixing some of the glitches in this game. I mean, I don't really, I mean, I don't know if I really, okay, I don't know. I mean, some people are kind of, like, arguing over whether or not I should fix like, some of the glitches. I mean, I don't care. I don't really care too much, but just, but if I find a glitch, I just think it's funny. Okay, I got more tad bulb mucus. Yuck. Okay. Okay, please tell me I don't have to encounter those guys. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. So we have a water crystal over there, and I believe we're getting close to the gym. Okay. Oh, we have here's the water crystal. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, it's a Mareep. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I don't think I need to do it, but that's interesting. A Mareep with water as its Terra type. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Can I get up here? Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't think I can get up there. Oh, can I, can I jump out, though? Wait, what? Okay, I'll just go down this way. Okay, there we go. That's how you get out. Okay. So, I guess there's, like, certain areas. Only, you can only enter or exit water from certain areas. I mean, I, I think maybe I'll be able. I'm able. I'll be able to unlock flying on Miradon sometime soon. So I guess I don't have to. I don't, I don't have to wait too long. Hopefully. Okay. So this I think is a new. I mean, no, we've been here before too, right? Yeah. There's that uh, a martial artist guy we fought last time. Okay. So we're basically sort of backtracking, but okay. There's a normal type crystal. Let me check that out. So I want to try to do just at least one Terra raid for for video. Actually, should I go down there? Oh, okay, I guess I'll go down real quick. This kind of seems like a whole new area. Or is actually no, I think we've been here before as well. Oh, a slowpoke. Okay, I, I guess I could try battling a slowpoke. So let me do that. Also, yeah, this this is where like that little city with like the olive roll challenge was. Wait, what? How did I encounter that hop if I wasn't anywhere near them? What? Okay, yep, I'm definitely experiencing more of the glitches in this game. That's for sure. It's fine. We just go for acrobatics. Take them out easily. Let's go. Right, goodbye, Hoppip. Okay, now can I please uh, do the Terra Raid battle? Please. What? It, the Terra Raid crystal disappeared again. Why does it keep doing that? Okay. 
Okay, honestly, I think I should try to. I should just connect connect the internet like before I, I guess I start recording and stuff. I guess that'd be an optional. Okay, there's a. Ha Did I catch a happeny yet? I caught a Marie, that's for sure, but a happeny? I don't know. Oh, let's see. I mean, happeny would be a good Pokemon to catch. Okay, no, I haven't. Okay, so. Let's switch out for. I guess I'll switch out for Flaffy and just go for Tackle. That should work. Also, I should switch Flaffy be my first Pokemon. Oh, you got this Flaffy. Okay, there's a bunch of Mareeps in Syria. Yeah, I like this area. This probably this might be my favorite area out of all the areas. You got a lot of Mareeps. It's really nice to see. Okay, let's try just a simple tackle. What? Okay, that knocked him out. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I find another happening. I might just have to just, uh, I guess just, like, not bat uh, battle it and all. Just, I mean, not battle and just, uh, catch it right away. Also, here's another trainer. Hello. I collect a ton of materials, Pokemon drop downs. I'll think I'll start collecting pr uh, prize money, okay. You're trying to buy Rawl the student. He looks like an, like an old guy. Like, I really don't understand, like, how the age groups of the students in this game are. It's so weird. Okay, you have a mass shift that's, uh, intimidating me. Okay, I, I need to. S okay, I keep forgetting to switch out for Flaffy. Or, I, I, can't for I forget to s put Flaffy as my first Pokemon. I gotta do that after this battle. Alright, this should be a pretty easy battle. Alright, scary face. Okay, ooh. Honestly, it's not even really scary. It's just, like, really angry, to be honest. Okay. Okay, this is, uh, they're only level 11, because I think, that, like, you, the game intended me to do, and do this earlier, but I'm kind of doing this later on. Okay. Okay, it's paralyzed, so it might not be able to attack me. Yep. Alright, goodbye, Mass Chief. Uh, is that it? I mean, it might be it. Yep, it is. Goodbye, Rawl, the student. You know, you look like an old man. Fine, you have some prize money, but you can't have any materials. What? Oh, come on, dude. That's not nice. Okay, actually, okay, let me switch out. No, okay, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Dang. Okay, what I want to do is, okay, put uh, Flaffy on top. There we go. And now, I kind of want to head back this way if I can. Or, okay, actually, what's, what's this area? Have we been here before? Okay, I don't know. There's some items here. A Chesterberry and a Hyper... Ooh, a Hyper Potion. That's pretty good. Okay, a bunch of Flaffies. Okay, I think I might just, uh... Okay, let's just warp back up here. And then we can just head from there. Because I don't know how to get out of here. Okay, this... Is this another student that looks like an, like an old man? Check me out. I'm 60 and still kicking. I'm even off to take on a gym. Okay... Okay, at least this guy explained his act, his age, but like I still don't understand how come like they're like like really old people or students mixed with like little kids like me. I mean, I'm not too little. I'm like a, I think most Pokemon trainers are ten year olds. I think. Still, just super weird. <laughs> Up, goodbye, Scupa. Alright, is that it? Yep. Goodbye, Manual, the student. Alright, but he's still happy. Check me out, I'm 60 and getting beat before I even get to the gym. Okay. Yeah. Okay, really, I really, I think I might need to understand the lore of this game a bit more. Okay, but let's just head off this way. Uh, the gym is just down this way, it's pretty long. Honestly, I don't know if I want to battle people. Okay, yeah, now we got a little kid that's a student, see? I want to catch them all. I mean, yeah, that's what Pokemon's all about, isn't it? Could I catch a Pokemon you trained? Please? Could I? What? No, you can't catch my own Pokemon. That's against the rules of Pokemon battles. You're not allowed to catch, uh, 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 you're not allowed to catch Pokemon that people already own. Alright, you have a Shroomish. Okay, I'm gonna destroy you. Okay, I guess I'll go for Tackles and Thundershock won't be that effective. Uh, okay, this might take a while. Okay, I literally only did one damage. Yeah, these, these are pretty easy trainers. I mean, I may as well battle them, though, for, you know, for the money and the uh, EXMP, even though it's just a little bit of experience. But oh well. Okay, that time I did bit- Okay, I got a critical hit. That's why I did a bit more damage. I was about to- I was about to say that. Okay, uh, one more tackle should do it. Uh, goodbye. Right, bye, Shroomish. Is that it? Yep, it is. Goodbye, Alessandro, the student. Definitely pretty- I think that's supposed to be like a Spanish name. Guess you can't catch people's Pokemon. Yeah, you can. It's literally impossible. I believe in older games, like if you tried to, it would say, Don't be a thief, but now in newer games it just doesn't let you at all. Like, it doesn't even give you the option to try. Okay. Also, I forgot you can like, counter Pokemon like that. I mean, 
I think you can actually catch him off guard like in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Also, I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna go straight for the Great Ball. Come on, please work. One. <sighs> Dang. Okay, it's... Okay, well, actually, do you think maybe now I, I might be able to attack it without... Okay, actually, no, I'm gonna give it one more try, but if it goes for Defense Curl again, I might tackle it and see if I don't knock it out. It's worth a shot. One, two, three. Okay, never mind, it worked. Our gotcha happening was caught, so I think a good strategy for catching Pokemon, especially relatively weak ones, is just don't bother attacking first, just go for the Pokeball right away, and if that doesn't work, then try to attack later if you can. That seems like a good strategy. There we go, we got Happiny who, will evol who evolves into like, Chansey and then Blissey. I mean, you know, I like Blissey, they're really nice in Pokemon Unite. Okay, another TM. A Mud Slap, okay, I already, I already got that previously. That's fine. Our Potion, okay, let's head this way. Also, I saw another Sparkling item, give me that. Okay, I really gotta stop going too fast. Okay, I already have that Pokemon. Okay, I don't wanna fall down there. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, let's not fall down. I don't really want to do too much exploring for now. I just want to just get straight to the gym. Also, yeah, I, I think you do need the uh, you do need the ability to travel across water to get there because there's a big uh, river right here. Actually, wait, could you wait, you could just jump it? Wait, okay, I'm not sure if it, like, if it, you're intended to be able to jump over or not, but like, still, like, that could result in some major I guess cheese and exploits. Also, oh man, there's a there's some combies and a Vespa Queen over here. Okay, it's exerting its- what does that do? Actually, I want to check status. Uh, okay, it's not telling me. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll go- let's start with Cotton Spore. I believe that lowers the speed. Okay, it's not very effective. Alright, Flappy, lower their speed. Okay, good. Their speed harshly fell- oh, oh, oh no, they're level 28. Oh, this might have been a bad idea. I, I, I guess I'll try it. I'm not sure I'll be able to catch it, though. I might just knock it out. Okay. Yeah, I think this is definitely like a area you're supposed to access after you get the uh, the water ability because these Pokemon are higher leveled. All right, Fury swipes. Ow! I was hoping you'd go for Bug Team moves. That would have that would have not done any damage, basically. Okay, I'll start with Flame Charge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna work too well. I think I actually have to go for uh uh. Actually, sh should I go? F oh, I'll go for Swagger do. Oh, it raises my attack, but also confuses me. Okay. So, that's kind of a, a risky... It's kind of risky to attack now, but I guess I'll try it. Okay, I'm confused. Can I su successfully attack? Oh, I can! Thank you! Okay, that actually sort of helped me in a way. Oh, it's gonna heal itself. Okay, actually, I think I might want to go for acrobatics now. And see if that works. Although, it's really powerful, so it might just knock it out. I might not be able to catch it. Let's see. Yeah, I knocked it out. Uh, okay, I'll have to come back another time trying to catch the Vespa Queen or Vespa Quen. Okay, I gained a bunch of XP. A uh, Blob wants to learn the move Yawn. Uh, let's see. I believe Yawn just like puts. Okay, it makes them fall asleep on the next turn as long as they don't. I mean, maybe, maybe is that better? I don't know. I think I want to keep Toxic Spice. I mean, I can always relearn it later, so I'll just hold off on it for now. Okay, wow. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll head up this way now. Let's see if there are any, okay, is there a Mareep? Yeah, I really like Mareep, they're such a cute little Pokemon. They're probably my favorite electric type, well, I, my opinion, in my opinion, the cutest electric type Pokemon. I mean, I know most people are gonna say it's, hey, what? Pikachu is the cutest, but no, I, I personally think Mareep is the cutest, okay? I'm sorry, I, that's just how I am. Okay, I think we're getting close to the water type gym, we just gotta just, oh man, we have to like, climb a mountain, almost. Okay, am I, am I gonna be able to though? Also, oh, there's a. Wait! Isn't that another. Didn't I see something like that before? It's like the, a sword thing. Except, instead of being purple, it's yellow this time. Uh. There's an ominous black stake. Yeah, a stake, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it out like I did last time. Does this do anything? It crumbled and vanished. Okay, I think that's like. Like. I think it maybe like you pull. Like there's like multiple to find. If you pull out all of them, you get something, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, there's definitely a lot of, like, side, secret side objectives in this game, that's for sure. Oh, there's a Gimme Ghoul! Hello! Hello, little Gimme Ghoul. Thank you for giving me another coin. Wait, can I, can I get up this? 
Let me see. Yeah, I have to get over this to get towards where the gym is, but can I? Or do, do I have to, like, go around another way? Hmm. Wait, do I have to, do I have to go around this way? Oh, I... Okay, I'm actually pretty dumb. I was taking the wrong path the entire time. Okay, so I guess we'll just uh, go to that Pokemon Center, and then there's a there's a pretty easy pathway. Okay, I, th I think a trick for navigating is always try to use the paths as much as possible. Oh, hello, Nurse Joy. Yeah, you weren't expecting me to just appear from behind you like that, huh? Yeah, I could I could use a quick heal before I continue on. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here another gimme ghoul. I don't know where it is. Oh yeah, let's see. Can I what can I can I can I buy anything? Okay, I still can't buy ultra balls, okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna hold off for now. Okay, but yeah, this this I think this is the way wait, actually wait, hold on. Uh, wait, wait, which way am I, wait, do I have to, oh, I, I have to loop around, I think. Okay, so let me see, uh, okay, this is kind of hard, okay, it's kind of confusing, but I have to, like, loop around, uh, I think, yeah, I have to loop, I have to, like, sort of, like, go where I was going for the Sky Titan, but then, uh, like, go a different direction. Actually, yeah, because there, there was that second direction you could go across that bridge that I, I didn't do last time. Okay, here we are. So let's head off this way. Also, there's another crystal over there. Sh should I do it? Okay, I'll just quickly see if, what it is. Okay, it's a dragon type one. And it's, uh, I think it's a deerling. I don't know if I have that Pokemon yet, but, you know, I think we may as well challenge it. It's interesting seeing a deerling as a dragon Terra type. Okay, here we are. Uh, is that a deerling? I believe it is. Yep, there they are. They're the dragon Terra type. And here we go. Okay, wow. What Poke also, is that a shiny, uh, uh, a shiny Pokemon right there, or is it? Okay, I don't know. It's just a different, uh, I think it's just a redesigned Sauce Buck. I mean, it looks pretty cool, though. It looks a lot more detailed. Oh, they named it Deary. That's a nice move. Uh, Kachin? Is that? Okay, I don't know. I don't think it's its real name. I think it's just a nickname they gave it. Man, that is an interesting Pokemon. Like, what even is that? It's like wielding a gigantic hammer. Wait, is it, is it down? Oh, I, okay, I think it's down. Okay, there we go. So now we can catch Deerling. I believe it's, that's its that's spring form, I believe, right? You know, the pink one's it's its spring form. Alright, let's go. I, I didn't even have to attack. I can just rely on the other trainers to do it for me. Alright, here we go. Here goes the awesome spinning Pokeball again. Yeah, it just looks so incredible. Alright, there we go. We beat the Terror Raid. And we caught Deerling. Okay, I actually, I already had one. I didn't know. But you know, it's fine. Let's just go on. Uh, okay, should, I, know, I know. I need to go back on the pathway. Okay, this way, this way. Okay, I don't want to get lost. That would be really bad. Okay, I think this is where I need to go. I can see a Pokemon Center off in the distance. Okay, so another trainer. Not sure if I want to battle them. I mean, I might. Hey, let's talk. Okay, sure. I guess we can talk. And also, let's battle as well. Answer to Nat. Getting to interact with the locals wherever you go is one of the best parts of traveling. Alright then. We're challenged by Backpacker Mateo. Oh, he's sending out- Oh, he has an Eevee. Okay, also why is it like- It was like floating. Okay, okay, yeah, the camera is having some issues. Alright, let's go for Thundershock. Okay, it should be pretty easy to defeat. It's only- a, It's a low level. Also, I paralyzed it. Let's go. Okay, Flaffy. I go for Thundershock. Okay, yeah, let's just spam through this. Uh, okay, it lagged a bit. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, you're going down, Eevee. Goodbye. Is that it? Is that all your Pokemon? Okay, it is. Goodbye. That was a good battle, though. What? Wow, you're quite the character. I mean, I'm technically the main character in this game, you know. Okay. Okay, let's, okay I, think, yeah, I think we're almost there. Okay, also, I think I can see, like, where, like, the Team Star Dark base might be, because that's actually near where we're going. I don't think I'm going to do it this episode, but I'll try it another episode, hopefully. It was carrying a coin. Oh, wait, is they talking about Gimme Ghoul? I'm trying to find a Whittle Pokemon carrying a coin. Okay, I have a Gimme Ghoul. I think I have the Pokemon you're looking for. You were trying to find Yasmin the student. Alright, send out Teddy Ursa. Okay. Actually, you know what? Since they, you know, they're looking for Gimme Ghoul, I'll actually show them. Look, I, I have them. See? 
I mean, it's not the same form. I don't know if it's like the form you're looking for, though. It's not the form carrying the coin, but it's a uh, one in the chest. Also, yeah, hello, treasure. All right, payback. Oh, that's a dark type move. Oh, shoot. Okay, but it raises my speed, though, because if I'm get I think if, if I get hit by a, a super effective move, it does that. Okay, baby doll eyes. It's going to lower my attack. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, and okay, I'm not doing much damage to it. Okay, you know, I mean, you, you saw I have Gimme Ghoul. You don't need to see it anymore. So let's switch back out for... I can switch out for Steenie this time. And I'll knock you out with a, a different type move. Okay, let's do this. Go, Steenie. Alright, what do you have, Teddy or so? Okay, another payback. Alright, you're doing some damage to me, but I, I don't think it's enough to take me out. Magical Leaf. Okay, almost knocks him out. Okay, it's doing more damage because I I, th I think payback does damage depending on how much damage you took. So yeah. Okay, it's lowering my attack again. It's fine, we got this. Goodbye. Okay, we have another Pokemon. They have a uh, Tin Katink. Is that a new Pokemon? Okay, I don't know what Pokemon that is. I I guess I'll stick with Steeny. I don't know what type it is though. Wait, is that that's just the that's like that looks like a, a pre-evolve of the Pokemon we saw earlier. Okay, I don't know what type it is, though. Is it a fairy type? Okay, actually, it might be a steel type, actually. Uh, okay, so... Actually, I want to test and see. If I go for Fletching or go for uh, Flame Charge, will it be super effective? Let's see. Okay. Come on, Fletching, you got this. You're in charge. Okay. Cough? Okay, I have no idea what that move does. Cough it. I mean, it does damage, but does it do something else? I don't know. All right, Flame Charge. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a steel type, that's for sure. Uh, goodbye. And that's it. Goodbye, Yasmin the student. But you saw I had Gimme Ghoul, right? I'm trying so hard, but I just can't find it. I'll just stare into the tall grass. Uh, pro tip, a uh, Gimme Ghoul isn't actually found in the tall grass. Usually, usually it's like found on hiding on top of signs or like on rocks or something. So, you know, just a quick tip. Okay, let's go to this Pokemon Center and heal up. And I think we should be near where we need to go. Okay, really, I gotta focus more controlling this. Ooh, a, a Nummel. I don't have that Pokemon yet. I guess I gotta try catching it real quick. I mean, I think I think the Team Star Fire crew had a Nummel. Okay, okay, it's relatively high level. It's level 18. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a ground type. I totally forgot. I thought it was just a fire type. It's actually ground fire. Okay, it's boosting its attack power. Um, okay, I'm not actually sure what to go for. I guess we'll try, uh, cross- or blob, or, a uh, uh, cla- clod, squire, or whatever you want to call it. But I like blob, that's a nice name for it. It's, I think, is it, I think it's actually based off of a blob fish, you know, that, uh, fish from real life. It, I mean, in real life, it honestly looks kind of ugly, but here, I mean, it, I mean, this Pokemon here looks kind of cool. That's for sure. Okay, let's try, uh, mud shot. Alright, focus energy. Okay, you already used that. You don't need to use it twice. Alright, mud shot. Okay, dodged it. Okay, maybe I should, should I try dig? Let's see if that works. Because dig is I think, a better chance of hitting. Also, oh shoot, it's gonna do a ton, ton of damage. Actually, I think Blob is getting more tankier now. Now that they evolved. Alright, go for dig. And now you'll be able to dodge your next attack. Alright, focus then. Okay, never mind. Use an attack that would have done nothing, anyways. I dig. Let's see how much damage it does. Ah, uh, too much. Okay, I knocked it out. There's another one, though. Okay. Okay, wow, they really have a really loud roar. Okay, see, I want to try to catch them off guard. Can I do that? Like, if I stay behind it. Okay, I think that worked. Okay, so, yeah, just like in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you can catch them off guard if you hit them from behind. But it's, I mean, you don't, you don't, have, you don't have full control of, like, the aiming and throwing the Pokeball, so it's kind of harder to pull off. Okay, let's see. Can I catch it, though? One, two, three. Oh, yeah, that was easy. I didn't, I didn't even have to battle it. I just had to just catch it like that. There we go. I caught Nummel. Another new Pokemon that I haven't caught yet. Yeah, it's Fire Ground type. Deflating magma at source and its hump on its back is the source of its tremendous power. Uh-huh. So it's, it's like a Fire Camel Pokemon. So is Camerupt. It's evolution. Okay. I got Numble Lava, okay, I'm not exactly sure how I collect lava without, like, burning my hands off, but okay. Alright, let's get going. I think we're getting close, okay. 
here. There's another Pokemon Center where I think where the next gym is. And then there should be the Dark of uh, the Team Star Dark crew somewhere around here. Okay, wow, are there, are there like multiple Pokemon centers in this area? Wow, it's like a ton. Okay, yeah, that's where the, that's the entrance right there. I don't think I want to enter right now. Yeah, okay, wow, they have a really big security, that's for sure. Okay, let's let's just stay away from there. I just want to head over to the gym if I can. Uh Wait, can can I? Wait, can I just go down here? Okay, we okay, I'm in the Asado Desert, okay. Oh, okay, some new Pokemon out here. I think these are called Silicobras. They were from Gen 8. Okay, right, there they are. Okay, actually, I should probably, I shouldn't be here. These Pokemon are too high level. Oh, and I couldn't get away. Oh, shoot, this is bad. I right, minimize. Okay, so I should, I, if I try to attack, I'm just, I'm just gonna miss. Also, oh, damn, I'm taking damage because there's a sandstorm here. But can I run, please? Thank you. Okay. Alright, let me head this way towards the, I think this is where this, the town of the, of the, uh, the water type gym is. Okay. Can I get that item? Okay, shh, come on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Wait, what? Okay, I accidentally sent out a Flaffy. I didn't really mean to do that. Okay, wow, it's like a, like a town right next to, like, a giant desert. What the heck? Oh, I think we're entering the town. Oh, here we are. Castle Carfa is where we need to be. Because there was, like, there were, like, there was, like, Team Star members, like, blocking a gate to get here. So, like, was I supposed to battle them, or did I just, like, find a cheat to bypass them somehow? I don't know. Alright, so I think the gym is just this way, right? Oh, what? I have to, like, jump up there? Oh, it's, oh, it's, like, oh, it's like an elevator? Uh, hello? You want to head up the upper top tier? Just wait in front of the elevator here for a moment. Okay. So I just walk up it? Uh, okay. D oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, I just have to wait for the elevator, okay. And there we go, let's just go all the way up. And here we are. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm not in control now. Okay, now I am, okay. See, so yeah, I think we're getting close to the gym. Wow, that's like a pretty cool place. Almost like a like a lost like city in the desert. Oh wow, muscle band, okay. Ooh, uh hello. Hi, you know as you spend time with your Pokemon, they'll grow friendly or towards you. Oh, this this like it's like basically a friendly test. Actually, can you see how much Donald likes me? Let's see that. Uh, right, can you check Donald for me, please? Okay, let's see how close you and Donald are. Hmm, you're getting along well, but I'm sure you could get way friendlier. Okay, I think maybe, like, do you have to boost friend uh, friendship by, like, doing, like, gym battles and stuff? Also, whoa, it's like a dolphin Pokemon. Wow, it looks really fancy. Uh, who boy. Who boy, what a shopping spree. Where should we head off to next? Okay, next up is, let's hit the market in Porto, Porto Marina duh, and shop until we drop, okay. Alright, so like a little town over here, there's a lot of interesting things around here, let's explore real quick. Oh, uh, what's this? Hello, Dozo Dozo, we bid you a warm welcome to the Kofu Lounge. Oh, so you can like buy food, okay, I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, okay, there's another TM. Okay, wow. Oh, yeah, helping hand. Okay, that that's meet mostly just meant for uh, double battles. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's anything I really need here. I mean, I could try customizing my character, but I mean, I think I think I'm cool how I look right now. You know, I have my normal school uniform, but then I also have, you know, I have like nice green backpack, and also I also have the green Rotom phone case. Also, I'm trying to like cover my eyes from the sandstorm. Yikes. Okay, but let's just head over to the gym and get that done with, hopefully. Uh, like, I think it's just- Oh, I have to go up another, uh, another elevator, okay. Alright, that will do, I guess. Come on, let's go. Also, I, you can see, like, I have, like, sand on, like, my back and on my hat. Okay, I think the sandstorm ended, though. That's a relief. Okay, yep, that looks like the gym to me. I ride to my destination. Alright, come on, can I do this? Vault and Vuezal- Uh, Vault and Vuezula. I'm late, I'm late. What? Okay, well, the gym leader just took off, I think. Ah, Kofu, wait! Ah, he got away. What am I supposed to return to him now? How am I supposed to return this to him now? Uh, what's going on? Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Uh, yup. I knew it, of course you are. That big man that just loves his Kofu, leader of the Kaskarfa gym. 
He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he, he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. Oh no, is he gonna like, uh, commit shoplifting or something? That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please ta take Kofu's wallet to him? Uh, sure. Oh, you're too kind. I'll give you a gym badge right now if I could. This is wallet. I'm counting on you. Okay, thank you. Can I just steal his wallet and take all his money? Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so, okay, this is basically just my gym challenge. I basically have to find him. Also, you said, uh, in something near, like, Porto Marina, duh, that place we talked about earlier. Okay, guys, so I spent a while looking around town, but I finally figured out where you're supposed to find the guy, a uh, Kofu. It's actually marked on your map, so uh, he's right over here. I can, well, I mean, it was, it was, he was on the map, and I could, uh, flag it. And I believe you have, to, you have to cross through this desert to get there, which is honestly pretty scary. I don't know how many scary Pokemon might be in the desert, but let's just go. Oh, okay, actually, you know what? Since there's going to be desert, I guess, uh, lots of ground-type Pokemon probably. I should, I should probably actually use Donald's my main Pokemon. That would be a smart idea. Okay, we got some... We got Rufflets. I mean, I mean, I, I kind of wish I could have Hijui and Bravery in this game, but I don't think that's a thing. Actually, Donald, can you... Wait, can you do... Can I do, like, that thing where, like, you... I, like, get him to battle that way? Wait, no, no, oh, okay, I guess we're battling normally then. I mean, I'm still, I'm still not sure how, like, that works. Like, I mean, I tried it out in that Team Star base, I mean, it, they were just kind of set up for it, but, like, I'm not sure how you would just use it normally. Okay, let's try out Aqua Cutter. Okay, it's so going for Helen Claw, it's gonna boost its attack and accuracy, I believe is what it does, yep. But now I can go for Aqua Cutter, and, oh, that was perfect, way to go, Donald. Alright, now I should be able to easily, easily catch this Rufflet. I, mean, I, really, I think Bravery is pretty good bird Pokemon. I mean, I'm really into. I think bird Pokemon are probably my like my favorite overall Pokemon. I mean, you got Decidueye, you've got uh, Talonflame, and I also have uh, a Quaxly here. Well, a Quaxwell. I don't know what's gonna evolve into. I'm really excited though. All right, there we go. We got Rufflet, the Eaglet Pokemon. Oh, it's really high numbered. Wow. Okay, I know. I just whenever you see a high Pokedex number, usually that like. You just you just think of like legendary Pokemon, you know. I mean, you know, you know, you never know. Okay, let's go around here. Some a lot of items here, that's for sure. Oh, this is another Silicobra. I mean, I guess now since I have Donald, I might try to battle them. Oh, let's go for another Aqua Cutter. Okay, that's perfect. Way to go. Oh, okay. It caused a sandstorm though. Alright, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna take some damage from the sandstorm, but I don't really care. Let's go for a great ball and catch that thing. Alright, let's go. Come on, please. Stay caught. Please stay caught. Yes. Awesome. Okay, is this stand sandstorm going to go away, though? Or do I have to deal with sandstorm for the rest of my journey through the desert? Okay, no, it's only it's only just temporarily for that one battle. A Silicorpus large nostrils are specialized for spraying sand. Okay. This Polka is not very good at telling apart different smells. Aren't snakes usually good at smelling? I mean, well, usually sn snakes, usually in real life, snakes smell with their tongue, you know that? Weird thing. And they're really good at smelling, too, so that's just interesting. Okay. Oh, that's a Whoa, what's that? It's like a, like a d desert ruins over there. Also, Rototo. Okay, what's this? Oh, is there another t Titan Pokemon around this area? Hey, Aunt Sinchuai, apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's making, been shaking off on an Earth, making me feel a bit sick. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit down and rest a little before I get to the Titan hunting. Okay, come on, please hit them with Poison Tail. Please, thank you. Oh, wow, did you see that? Like, the little, like, spines on their head, like, went up. That's really cool. That's such a nice, cool detail. Okay. Now let's go for a Great Ball. Please stay caught, please stay caught. Yes, let's go. Also, when that was going on, I was like spamming the A button. You know that that old uh, myth that spamming the A button actually helps catch Pokemon? I don't think it actually does, but I still do it anyways. I, I still do it sometimes just for fun, you know? All right, there we go, another new Pokemon. I mean, not really new, but just, just I, one I haven't caught yet, that's all. Oh, there's a Dolphan, the evolution of Fampy. Okay, I feel kind of scared to go for them though, because they're probably gonna be really powerful. I mean, I guess I could try. We have Donald, let's try it. Whoa, what's- wait, is that a Tumbleweed Pokemon? What the heck? Whoa! It's like a Tumble- it's like a Tumbleweed with eyes. Oh, is it a Bramblin? Is it like a ghost type? I think it might actually be a ghost type. Like, maybe a ghost grass. That would be pretty fitting. Also, I knocked it out. Shoot. 
Okay, but yeah, I, th I think it might be a ghost grass type. That seems uh, pretty fitting for like just a lone tumbleweed of creepy eyes like that. That's actually a pretty cool idea of a poke for a Pokemon, tumbleweed. Uh, but can I catch you? I want to try to catch you off guard. Up, oh, I couldn't do it. Okay, fine. I'll just battle you normally then. Let's go, Aqua Cutter. Knock off. Okay, that I think that gets rid of any items you have. I don't have I don't have any items, so I don't care. Also, I might want to go for let's go for Aqua Jet just so I get a bit more damage in before I die. Okay. Stomping tantrum. Okay, I'm dead. It's fine. We can send out Steeny now. Yeah, choose next Pokemon. Let's go for Steeny this time. All right, you got Steeny. Oh, is that a? I think I see a Larvesta. You know that like that fire bug type Pokemon. Uh, Magical Leaf. I'm not. I'm not sure if that will. Like, I'm, I think it might. I might, might knock it out. Actually, it might knock me out. Oh, okay. I just barely didn't knock it out. So I'm just gonna try to catch it. Alright, some of my Pokemon might faint though, that's kinda scary. Also, I wanna catch that, uh, Bramblin, uh, uh, Tumbleweed Pokemon. Okay, but I caught Dal Dawn, Dawn Fan. Sorry, I'm, I might be mispronouncing names right here. Got a ton of EXP from doing that. Uh, where's that Tumbleweed? Oh, okay, there's a Larvesta. I guess I could battle that. Okay, there's another Bramblin. No, no, okay, let's just counter it normally. Let's do this. No, no, uh, the Larvesta. Let's battle Larvesta. Oh, oh, I'm interacting with, uh, Clods, or Blob. Okay, let's go. Or, yeah, I guess the Larvesta, I, th I think I want to go for ground-type moves first. Our Struggle Bug. Okay, I didn't do anything. Okay, so you can see, like, all the sand on, uh, Blob. That's really good. Also, Blob's a ground type, so they don't, they don't take damage from Sandstorm, so the Sandstorm is actually gonna... Yeah, it's actually helping me this time. Okay, it's not gonna hit me. Way to go, Blob. Now dig, come on, please hit them. Uh, okay, not bad. Okay, I think I might just try to go for the catch now, not try fighting anymore. And also, the Sandstorm is gonna slowly damage it over time, so that could help me. Oh, but burst out instantly. Alright, Bug Fight. Okay, not very effective still. And you're still getting hit by that sandstorm. Right, let's just keep throwing great balls until I get it. I think I can do this. One, two, three. There we go. Awesome. Larvesta was caught. I mean, they are a pretty interesting Pokemon, like a fire and bug type. Oh, okay. Why is like Blob walking around? Like, oh, I think I, st I still have them sent out. Okay, Larvesta, the torch Pokemon, a bug and fire type. In ancient times, Larvesta is worshipped as the emissary of the sun. However, it's also viewed as a burden since it caused forest fires often. Okay. There we go. Well, we're getting a lot of Pokemon added to the Pokedex, that's for sure. We got Larvesta Fuzz. Uh. Okay, let's see. What Pokemon is that? Oh, it's a. It's a Sandy Gas from Gen. Uh, not. Uh, Gen 7, the Alola region. I should just try battling it. Okay, caught it off guard. That's a good start. Alright, caught the wild Sandy Gas off guard. Alright, what's its Terra type? It's Grass. Okay. Okay, that actually helps me because now my Poison type moves with uh, Crossbones should be able to uh, be super effective against them. Okay, yeah, let's try to go for Poison Tail. Okay, it couldn't move, but it's, it's very high level. I do need to be really careful. Okay, and it's taking damage from the sandstorm. Wow. Hypnosis. Oh no, it's gonna put me to sleep. That's not good. Okay, I might want to switch out actually. Our right, blob fell asleep. Yep, they're just sleeping. It's actually hard to tell they're sleeping or not. Like you can just barely tell because like the eyes sh change ever so slightly. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's try a Fletchender. I think that should work. Alright, you got this, Fletcher. I believe in you. Okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find, okay, I, I can't find any more of those tumbleweed Pokemon because I really want. I really want to get one. They seem really interesting. Oh no, no, it's Gigadrain. Okay, I didn't do that. Okay, that actually, that actually wasn't that bad. It does heal a little bit though, which is kind of frustrating, but okay. Also, we're both gonna get hit by the sandstorm, which is less than ideal. Okay. Okay, let's go for acrobatics. Okay, thankfully I'm faster. Okay, perfect! I think I should be able to catch it now. 
Like I'm, uh, do you think, like, when you give you dance, like, it's impossible to knock them out while they're in Tiro form? If so, that actually is really helpful. Okay. Let's go for a Great Ball. And please catch. Please stay caught. Come on. I beg you. One, two. Awesome! I caught a terrestrialized Sandy Ghast. Let's go. Okay, got even more XP. I mean, these are pretty high-leveled Pokemon, so I'm gonna get a lot of XP from them, that's for sure. The Sandy Pokemon, a Ghost and Ground type. It flings sand into the eyes of its prey and tries to close in on them while they're blinded, but since Sandy Ghast's gas is so slow, the prey tends to escape. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. Okay, you know, I mean... Okay, well, I mean, Sandy Gas, you gotta uh, respect the effort, at least. They're still trying hard, I guess. Okay. Okay, there's that Tumbleweed Pokemon again. Uh, so can I... Okay, I didn't... Okay, I... it's hard to tell, like, which side is which, though. That's the thing. Okay, Bramblin, let's just go for the Great Ball. And see if I can catch it. Alright, please stay caught. I don't think it will, though. I mean, maybe? Oh, it did! Okay. So, yeah, they're pretty easy to catch. And I'm predicting they're a ghost and grass type. That's my prediction. Okay, Flaffy wants to. Oh, Electro Ball. Okay, well, I guess I don't have to. I don't have to use that TM I got way earlier. Uh. I mean, I okay. I might want to get rid of. I don't know what's better, Thunder Shock or Electro. I mean, hmm. Okay, it's kind of a hard choice, but I think I'm going to get rid of Tackle. But this is just temporarily. For I think later I'm, I'm going to get rid of. Thunder Shock and replace it with a different move. Like, maybe not even an Electro type move. Maybe, like, uh, because I, I think, uh, they, uh, Amphros can learn Dragon type moves. Also, I was right, it's a Grass and Ghost type. Not even Bramblin knows where it is headed as it tumbles across the wilderness, blown by the wind. It loathes getting, get, it hates getting wet. Okay, the Tumbleweed Pokemon. Okay, what Pokemon is that? Whoa, what? Is that like a dun, a dung beetle? What the heck? Okay, it looks like a giant dung beetle, basically. The Relor. Okay, it's like. Oh, okay, I think it's like supposed to be a dung beetle. That's what it's supposed to be. Uh, okay, but I'm gonna sleep though. It's kind of a problem. Can I wake up? Okay. Oh, dang it, I'm asleep. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's try to keep, I guess I'll, I'm gonna keep trying to go for Dig. Okay, it's not doing much damage. I don't, I'm not really too worried. Come on, Blob, wake up. Sorry, but you just can't sleep in the middle of battle like this. Oh no. Okay, still didn't do much damage though. Okay, but did lower my speed. Okay, I need to switch out, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I could try out. Okay, well, Steenie's. Okay, I don't know who to use. I guess, I mean, it's a bug type, so maybe Fletchinger will work. But I think it's a bug ground type, probably. That's my guess. Or maybe bug rock, who knows? Okay, so it's only going for bug type moves right now. Oh, and I burned it. Let's go. Okay, now I think I'm gonna start going for the Pokeballs now. Let's go. Come on, please work. Right, one, two, three. There we go. I caught the dung beetle. I'm pretty sure it's based off a dung beetle. You know those beetles that push around poop? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, oh, the the rolling Pokemon. A bug type. Oh, just a plain bug type. It rolls its mud ball around with all the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually, the time comes for it to evolve. Okay. So, that's interesting. I wonder what happens when it evolves. Do you think, do you think like, the evolution of it might be the the Titan Pokemon? Because, like, it might be, like, like rolling something really heavy and causing an earthquake. I don't know. Just a guess. There it is. Just rolling around happily. Or rolling its thing around. Okay. I think we're getting close, uh, to where we need to be. So I, I think I just want to just quickly head there. I, I mean, I'll, I'll stop, you know, just for getting items and, uh, interacting with crystals for the league points, but I don't think I want to take too much time battling since I've been, I've, I've been spending a while. Oh, okay, it's a, a flying type, uh, Nasly, the Mario Mushroom Pokemon. I don't think I need that. Also, yep, we're down. Here we are. We. Oh, so, oh, so let me check that sign real quick. Uh, I think I think that sign might tell me where I need to go. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's an. Uh, there's the. Is that the evolution of Lechonk right there? I, I'm curious. I wonder what Pokemon. Is, I, I want to see what it's called. Also, there's a giraffe rig. Okay, it looks like a. It like looks like a. It looks like it has like. Wait, what? Oink cologne? What? Is this supposed to be like based off cologne? It looks like it has like big eyelashes. What? Okay, it's such a weird Pokemon. 
Okay, I'm already asleep. Yeah, you don't need to use yawn on me. Yawn on me. Also, I see the guy we're looking for. He's right over there, I think. Okay, so I think it's just a normal type. So if I go for... Oh, I Donald's fainted. Okay. Okay, let's try out Treasure. Because if he goes for normal type moves, they won't do anything against me. Alright, come on, Treasure. You got this. You're my treasure. I mean, you're... Give me cool, but I need you, Treasure. Because you're in a treasure chest. Alright, Covet. Okay, that's a normal type move, so it doesn't affect me. Uh, oh shoot, that's not gonna affect them either. Oh, I know it's Dig. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, this might, I actually have a plan, actually. Since, uh, it's gonna come up on its next turn, but while it's gonna, before it comes up, I can switch out for Fletchinger, and then the Dig won't do any damage to me. Let's see if that works. I think it might. Alright, go Fletchinger. Now it's gonna Dig, and it's not gonna hit me. Let's go. Awesome. Okay, and now let's, I just go over Acrobatics since that's the most powerful move I have. Oh wow, it's really tanky. Even that didn't do much damage. Okay, so whenever Dig again, even though it's not gonna do anything. Also, there's a wild Flaffy right there. I mean, yeah, I already have a Flaffy. I don't really need another one. Okay, well if I go over Flame Charge, will it still boost my fla uh will it still boost my speed? Uh, no, it only works if you hit it. Okay, well I just had, I just had to basically just waste a turn there. Okay, but acrobatics, let's just keep going for that until I can maybe... I don't know if I want to catch it, but I guess I could try. Oh, no, it's going to put me to sleep eventually. Uh, okay, let's try just one flame charge. Come on, I don't want to knock it out, though. Okay, okay, I'm going to fall asleep. A headbutt. Actually, what, is, is that going to burn it? Yes, it is. Okay, that, I can make this work. I can try to catch it now. Also, yeah, Fletchinger, I think it's about to fall asleep right now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like closing their eyes as if they're about to fall asleep. And yep, there they are. They're asleep now. Okay. Okay, but let's go for a Great Ball now. And try to catch that Oink Cologne. Oink Cologne, okay. I still don't really get it. It's such, it's such a weird design of a Pokemon. But I caught it! Okay, let's see if it's Pokex Center. I really am curious. Okay, got a bunch of XP, and Blob wants to learn move. Oh, Poison Jab! I think that's actually a pretty good move. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's, a, it's a, just a it's just a pretty straightforward, powerful Poison-type move. I mean, I think it honestly is a bit better than Poison Tail. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I want to get rid of Poison Tail and place it Poison Jab. I think Poison Jab is better. There we go. And now, uh... We got Oink Cologne, the hog Pokemon. Oh, it's a fe- Okay, so I, there's male and female forms. Okay, I, I can understand why this one's a female, that's for sure. This is a Metalish Pokemon that likes to heat- This is a Metalish Pokemon that likes to keep things tidy. It shrouds itself in a floor, floral aroma that soothes the Pokemon around it. Okay, that's interesting. So it's, okay, so it's like emitting like sort of col uh, cologne. Oh, okay, wow, it's an interesting picture. Okay. I can see it. Okay, there's a gimme goal on the sign, just like I thought. Also, there's a giraffe, a giraffe rig I want from Gen 2. I might want to catch it. Also, yeah, this is where I need to go. You can, I can see the guy, and also it's telling me this is where I need to go. Oh, this is a wild Meowth. I already have one, but I'm interested in giraffe rig Okay, yeah, it has, like, that weird thing on its tail. Almost, it almost looks like a chain chomp from Mario. You know that? Mario enemy. Okay, so going for agility. going to boost the speed. Okay, unfortunately, I'm still asleep. Yep. Okay, I don't really have a way to wake up just yet. Uh, unless... Okay, I guess I could try... Oh, actually, wait, uh, Drafferig is a Psychic type, right? So if I go for Give Me Cool Ghost type, I I'll be able to be super effective against them. Alright, go Treasure, you got this. Uh, Assurance? Oh, no! I think that's a Dark type move, actually. Okay, it rose my speed, though, but I don't think it's gonna help me much. Okay, yeah, it's way, it's way faster than me. I went for agility twice. Let's see, how much damage will Astonish do? Oh, it doesn't affect me. Oh, oh, it's also a normal type. I forgot. Okay. Okay, I might not be able to catch this, actually. I might just have to knock it out or run away. And also, I have to go to the Pokemon Center over there and heal up soon. Because my Pokemon party is pretty low. Okay, assurance. Okay, it didn't do much to me. Oh, I paralyzed you. Let's go. Man, these abilities are... I feel like my Pokemon have really good abilities. This is actually a really good team I have. 
Well, actually, wait. This does damage depending on their speed stat. And since it's really fast, I think the Ultra Ball will do a bunch of damage. Let's see. Uh, I mean, that wasn't much. Uh, I guess it was something, though. Okay, it's gonna keep going for agility. Okay, I'm gonna go for a charge to boost my next Ultra Ball and see how much damage I do then. Okay. I think I have a strategy. I think Electro Ball is the good strategy for this. I'm coming up with a lot of good strategies well, as I'm playing in this episode. That's really good. Okay, Psy Beam. Okay, it didn't do much. Electro Ball. Can please do a bunch of damage. Oh, that was super effective. I mean, it wasn't super effective, literally, but it was still did a bunch of damage. Okay, one more little Thundershock. Okay, perfect. Okay, no, don't attack again. I almost messed it up. Come on. This is perfect. I gotta catch it now. I can't mess this up. Please. Just stay caught. No! Okay, you know what's fine. It's fine. Oh, cool move cuts paralyzed, though. That's good. Okay, actually, you know what? I don't want Flaffy to die, so actually, I think we're gonna send out... Uh... Okay, I don't mind if Fletcher gets knocked out. They're really high-leveled. I, I I want Flaffy to get more XP from this. I don't care if Fletcher doesn't get any. Alright. Okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Come on, Great Ball, please don't feel me this time. Please, just catch it. Or actually, should I go for an Ultra Ball? I don't know. I have two of them. I don't know if I want to use up one. Uh, I don't... Okay, I think it's working. I, 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 I can, if I just keep going, I think I'll eventually do it. I mean, it's in the red and it's paralyzed. That's gotta make it easy to catch. Come on, Great Ball, you got this. One, two, three... Yes! Awesome! Draft Rig was caught. That was intense. But I, I really liked that battle. Alright, let's go. See, so, yeah, the long neck Pokemon, normal and psychic type. Draft tail's a small head. It, it indistinctly bites any foe that approaches the Pokemon from behind because it, it like, has a really tiny brain, I think. Yeah, Draft is really detailed, too. Oh, that's a nice little photo of them just sleeping. Alright. Okay, let's go. There's the guy I need to talk to. Uh, I don't want to battle anyone else right now. I just want to get to Pokemon Center. But at first I want to just uh, talk to... Uh, what was his name again? Was it... Uh, Kofu. Bolt and Vazala. Where? Where in the world? What's going on? You little flowers are getting battered by the sea breeze. Something fierce. But you don't care. What strong pretty little flowers? Where? Where in the world can I go to find more like you? What? I, I don't get it. Teehee. Oh shoot, I need to get down to the market. Uh, okay, we'll hit up. Okay, I, he definitely does have a childish side to him, like the lady said. Also, I wasn't. I I should have been paying more attention to what she said because she actually literally said where to go, like to go through the desert, like I just did. I actually I actually had to look it up. Can you help me? Uh, not right this moment. First, I want to heal up real quick, and then I can do other stuff. Do I go on the map? Will it tell me where to go now? Okay, there they are. Also, there's uh dittos in this area. Oh oh no, it already had it set. And wait, was that was that like a different version of Tentacool? Also, I think I saw a different version of Tauros too. Okay, let's see. There's a Deerling and a Meowth, uh, some Star Revas. Oh, there's a herd of wild Tauroses. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to go up to them, but let's try it. Oh, what type are they? Are they Dark type? I don't know. I'll go for a low sweep and see what it does. Oh, that's a bunch of damage. Shoot. A low sweep. Oh, it's just a normal damage. Okay, so it's not they're not normal types. They're not dark types. So what types are they? I don't know Okay, let's try out uh, a Fletchender. Also, there's someone walking in the background. It's, there's like a, a backpacker over there All right, come on Fletchender. Can you do this? All right, double kick. Okay, yeah I like how they turn around and actually kick me like that. That's a pretty good animation. Oh, but that burns you though. Better be careful, you shouldn't touch Fletchinger, else you're gonna get burned. Okay. Like on Tauros, yeah, burn like that. And now let's try your acrobatics. Okay. Oh, that was super- Oh, I think it's a fighting type then. Yeah, because it's using double kick. I think that might be it. Okay. Oh no, is it gonna die of the burn? I think it might, and I won't be able to catch it then. Okay, it didn't. Okay. So now, uh, I basically have one chance to catch it. I'll just go for it, I guess. Come on, please work. I really, really, really been nice to catch them. 
One, two, three. Nice! Oh, wow, this is crazy. We're catching so many powerful Pokemon this episode. We gave so much XP and leveling for Pokemon. Awesome progress. Oh, yeah, the fighting type Pokemon, the Paldean form of the Wild Bull Pokemon, Tauros. This kind of Tauros, known as the Combat Breed, is distinguished by its thick, powerful muscles and its fierce de deposition. Okay, wow. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, I kind of want to leave this spot now. And Okay, I got Tauros here, and okay. Uh... Actually, I want to battle that guy real quick, though. You know, he asked for help, so, you know, I'm going to help him. With, with whatever it is, I'll help him with. Can he help me? Yeah, sure, I can help you. I can help you by battling you. If I win, can you help me by making my deliveries in my steed? Oh, oh, okay. You know what? On second thought, no, I don't want to help you. I just want to beat you. That's all I want to do. Okay, you have your rufflet, okay. Okay, I guess I'll just use Donald for this. So I want to level them up a bit more. Alright, let's go for an Aqua Cutter. Awesome. Okay, almost knocked them out. Okay, and they aren't even attacking, so yeah, I'm gonna take them out in the next turn for, for sure. Alright, get ready. Wow, there's so many Pokemon here. This is, like, where, like, you find, like, really, like, wild... I think it's, like, where you find, like, wild Pokemon, like, wild bulls, wild, uh, boars. You know, like, basically, po I mean, it's, like, you know, the Pokemon, but that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, it defeated him. Are we just happy? I knew that wouldn't work. Yeah, nice try. Okay, but let's let's go now. I really I, I can't wait to get some Oh wait, there's a chancy. Actually, I want to battle that actually and catch it. Wait, do I do I have do I have a chancy already? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so let's try to catch it then. Our low sweep should be super effective. Perfect. Thank you, Donald. Okay. Oh, it lowers her speed too. It's actually really good. Oh, it's oh, it's singing for me. I mean, sure, it puts me to sleep. I don't, I don't really care because I'm not gonna be fighting anymore. Let's just go for that great ball. Also, I'm almost all out. I better go buy more soon. I want Chansey, please stay caught. Thank you. Gotcha, Chansey was caught. Whoa, what was that? I heard like a weird noise. Don't want to move air sl. I mean, uh, I guess that's better than wing it. Actually, I don't think I want it, actually. Let's not learn it. Oh, okay. Okay, the camera's all messed up. Oh, God. But I know chance the egg Pokemon. It walks carefully to prevent its egg from breaking. However, he's extremely fast at running away. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, they, oh that's actually really cute. It's like snuggling its egg. It's really cool. I wish I wish it had... A, does it have an animation in this game where it does that? If so, I really want to see it. There's a... Whoa. Is that there? Oh, oh, I, th I thought it was like a different form of Curlia. No, it's just a weird shadow on it. Uh, okay, let's, let's just, I, I don't care. Let's just go. Uh, let's get to where I need to go already. All right, here's where we need to go. Let's just find the guy already. Okay, let's just jump down, land on the roof of this house. Okay, yep, I, I'm on the roof of the house now. Oh, yeah, here's the marketplace he wanted to go to. And there he is. Hello. All right, come on. You, you need your wallet. Vault of Vazala, where? What? Where in the world? What is it? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll be bought up by someone else. <laughs> don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. You don't need to. I have it. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, as best apprentice, will have to stop you. Do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? Uh, this is super important. I have his wallet. Super important, eh? Well, we'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. Oh, come on. I have to battle you. I have the wallet. Come on. It's just a waste of my time. Fine. I'll challenge my, challenge my gym trainer, Hugo. Okay. All right, gym trainer, Hugo's down. Float soul. Okay, I know that Pokemon. Okay, let's switch out for... Okay, we need... Let's switch out for Steeny. They should be the best for this. All right, come back, Donald. I'll see you asleep. I really need to go back to a Pokemon Center and heal you up again. But Steenie, you should be able to do this. I believe in you. All right, bite. Oh, ow. Okay, that actually did a good amount of damage to me. Let's see. I'll change what Magical Leaf do. Oh, no, it's faster. Oh, this is actually kind of bad. Okay. Okay, let's see. Who else can I use? All right, let's try out Flaffy now. Okay. Okay, these people are actually pretty high leveled. I might need to be more careful. Right, come on, Flaffy. You, you go for it. I believe in you. Let's do this. Just you and me. Alright, Aqua Jet. 
Okay, honestly, I don't really care if I use that. Oh, it's actually perfect. It's paralyzed itself. Let's go. Okay. Or right, let's go for, uh... Actually, it's really fast, so Electro Ball would be perfect for this. Okay. Okay, it's still attacking me first, even though it's paralyzed. It's fine. Electro Ball... Ah, oh, just barely knocked it out. Just not quite. Okay, fine. I'll go for Thundershock then. Oh, but could move because it's paralyzed. It's pretty good for me. Alright, Thundershock time. Goodbye. That was a crazy battle. Actually, I think he has one more Pokemon. Does he? Uh... I was about to send out Clauncher. Uh, I'll, I'll keep going, I guess. Clauncher is like that crab Pokemon from Gen 8. Uh, the, the Kalos region. Wait, no, not Gen 8, Gen 6. My bad, okay. Okay, I get my regions mixed up, I'm sorry. Hmm. Will I be able to attack first, though? No, I can't. Okay, but it didn't do much damage, though. Okay. Okay, if it doesn't knock me out, I should be able to take it out now. No, it took me out! Dang! Hmm. Alright, who should I use next? Uh... I guess I could try Blob. The problem is they're weak to Water-type moves, so this might be a bad move. Uh... Let me try a Dig. Smackdown! Oh, that, that was like the worst move you could've used. It barely did anything. I'm going for Dig. Alright, I'm gonna dodge your next move, I'm gonna hit you, and hopefully do enough damage to take you out. Oh yeah, nice try going for Aqua Jet, but it's not gonna hit me. Come on, Blob, you got this. Ah, oh, just barely, no. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go for Poison Jab. Well, thank you for not going for any water type moves on me, that's a relief. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Goodbye, Clauncher. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Yes, thank you. Oh, Flesh Armor move, learns learn move Agility. Uh... I mean, that's just Booster Speed. Okay, well, the thing about Agility, though, is I don't really feel like it's necessary if you have a Pokemon that's already pretty fast. Plus, also, I can use Flame Charge to boost my speed stat, so actually, I don't really think I want to learn that. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll learn it later, but for now, I don't really want it. Alright. That's what you get for interrupting me. Shucks, I let Old Man Kofu down. No, you didn't. I'm about to give him his wallet, and everything will be okay. Don't worry. Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet's empty, too. Hey, J hey, uh, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus about over here? Old Man Kofu, seems this kid got something to say to ya. What's that now? A customer here for little old wallets less money less me? What can I do for ya? Uh, I have your wallet. Here you go. You forgot it. I turned Kofu's wallet to him. Vault of Wazala, my wallet! Say what now? My lobby staff are sent you out here to bring it to me? Gwahaha, that's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hopefully, he didn't bother you too much. There's something to hear about the Porta Marina da auction that I re I re we really want to get our hands on. So, as you can imagine, we were both a bit worried up to find out I forgot my wallet. Ladies and gents, you don't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? What is it? Feast your eyes on the main event. I have her here. The legendary Wakami Seaweed from the Hoenn region. Okay, Gen 3. Do I have any takers? Vault of Wazala! Well, I'll, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. I don't even know, I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chalk full of nutrients. And just look at it, look how it catches the light and shines so brightly. Oh, and that rich fresh aroma of something plugged straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen kid, if you want to challenge me to the Castle Carpet Gym, you're going to need some smarts. This is a perfect place to test ya. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Uh, what's a winning bid? I mean, I kinda know, but I just wanna just figure out how it works in this game. Well, you see, you're here at the auction, you gotta compete with other customers for goods. You gotta be aware of how much money you have, of course, but the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever wants on sale. Here you go, fight and fun to the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Well, I got 50 Pokey dollars? Okay, I'm probably gonna have to spend it all on this, aren't I? So, yeah, he's not really giving me much. Our gym test, make the winning bid the auction. Okay, I have a lot of money they gave me, but I'm probably gonna use up most of it. I started being at 10,000. Uh. Uh, I guess we'll bid 15,000? 50, 50,000 right here, more? We're currently at 15,000. Ah, 20,000? Dang, 30,000. Uh, 30,000? Uh, 35,000? I wanna spend as, as few as possible. As few as my money as possible. What in the world? Oh, did it work? Sold! Sold for 35,000. Okay, so I, I, ga I gained 1,500 Poké Dollars for that. It's actually not bad. 
Well done, kid. I guess I lost. Okay, there we go. That was amazing. You, you put you put those grown-up bitters to shame with your bidden skills. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty easy, but still. Thank you for, me for winning that... Oh, thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. Sure thing. Here's the legendary seaweed. This seaweed's a great catch. I'll be feeling low at the seabed if I fail to get my hands on it. Is any of the all that money I, I gave you, feel free to keep it as a tip. Thank you. You can even use try your own hand at the auction again if you like. Okay. Are right, you head back to the gym now? Oh man, Kofi's got to prepare a real good battle for you. See it there? Also, it's like real as in a pun, like real in a fish, you know? Okay, but I did it. Gym test complete. You passed. So now I can head back to the gym and battle him and wrap things up. I mean, it's been a while, man. All right, here we are. Rototo. What is it? I'm getting a call on my phone. Hey, it's why it's me. Oh, hello, Nimona. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. Uh, okay. I don't mind. Hello. Hey, hey, there you are. Look at you, you have two gym badges already. Awesome. And this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? We're up to the challenge for sure, but just, like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pretty gym warm-up battle with me. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Yeah, that's their enthusiasm. Now let's go. Alright, let's do this. Come on, the field of battle awaits. Okay, we're going out to the battlefield now. Okay, wow, this, this, gym, ba this gym badge only requires a lot of skills. First, you have to, like, go across a giant desert to talk to Kofu. Then you have to find him again in that a bidding area. Then you have to do the bidding, and then you also, well, and also you have to battle against his apprentice, and now Nimona. Man, it's a lot to do, but, you know, it's fine. I got this. Before you take on the gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. Yeah, I, I did that in the last uh, times I found the last two gyms, you know. Helps to see where the court is and what it's made of and stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. Okay. You know what, Sage? Why one look at your face, and it's obvious you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I start introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Alright, ready? Alright, I sure am. Let's do this. Uh, is her- I think her Fuey Coco is gonna be evolved. I don't know if it's gonna be a stage one- the stage one or stage two, but let's see. Let's have a fruitful battle. Yep, uh, that's her old catchphrase. Alright, she's ready. Also, I think she's gonna terrestrialize, so I might need to do that. My child's a Pokemon trainer, Mona. She's now- okay, she's now Rock Ruff. It's actually, actually pretty good. I think Steve should be able to deal with that pretty easily. Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you got. I sure will. Okay, it's level 21. Okay, I, th I think I'm, I'm I'm pretty reasonably leveled for this. Just go for Magical Leaf. And I one-shotted them. Sorry, Nimona. Alright. Ooh, nice moves. Your skills sure are ripening. They sure are. Uh, ripening like a fruit, perhaps? I don't know. She, she just likes to talk about fruit a lot, I feel like. Alright. Uh, see now some moves. Oh! Stomp is one of the moves that, uh... I believe uh, Zarina has in Pokemon Unite, and it's actually pretty powerful. I think I might want to uh, replace, maybe Rap. I think Rap. I mean, Rapid Spin isn't. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of hard. Maybe, maybe, maybe Sweet Scent even. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I really want Stomp. I think I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, I mean, Rapid Spin doesn't do much damage. Actually, it's not that low work compared to Stomp, but. It can also eliminate the effects of Bind, Rap, and Leech Seed. I think it's actually relatively... Actually, no, I think we'll get rid of Rapid Spin. I mean, I, I guess I'll replace it later if I need it. But for now, let's try out Stomp. Alright, Palmy? Uh... Actually, let's switch it for Blobs. They're a ground type. They should be able to deal with them pretty easily. Alright, come back, Sini. And go, Blob. Also, I should, I should probably give nicknames to all my Pokémon. Do you think I should do that? I can't think of any just yet, but I'm, I'm sure I'll think of ones eventually. Alright, here's Pommy. And let's go for. Uh, I guess. I guess we'll start with a mud shot. Wait, it knows Dig too? What? Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll go for Toxic Spice and put them out. Well, it's not. Because I can't do anything right now. Okay, it did hit me. It did do a good amount of damage, but it's fine. Alright, Toxic Spikes. You're gonna get poisoned when you send out your next Pokemon. Or your Pokemon's gonna get poisoned, at least. Okay, let's see. Is this gonna go for Dig again? Okay, so this is actually kind of funny, but... When if both if both trainers go for a move like Dig, it's actually better to be the, the slower Pokemon, because then you'll get to actually attack them. Because now, like, Pommy's gonna use Dig and not gonna hit me. But now, I'm gonna go for Dig and I will hit them. 
Yeah, it's also kind of funny how, like, just both of the Pokemon just disappear from the battle for a bit. There we go, I took out Palmy. And finally, I have Croco. Pro Kalor, okay, so that's, I think Kalor is like a Spanish for hot, so yeah, makes sense. You know what, let's, let's have our starter Pokemon battle it out, so, I think that's the first evolution of Quake Coco, I think, and this is the first evolution of Quaxly, or Go Donald, aka Quax, or Quaxwell, aka Donald, don't pat yourself on the back just yet, my next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables, alright, let's see, let's see, Crow Kalor, Oh yeah, that's it. It's like the evolution it looks like it's like a sombrero in its hat. Oh, but it's poisoned now because of the toxic spikes I laid out. Now let's go for Aqua Cutter. Does he have a tier orb too? We can both tier list a Pokemon fair and square. Oh, okay. I didn't think of tier listalizing honestly, but I don't, I don't think I need to. I think I'll be able to do this without it. All right, let's just see. There she goes, tier listalizing her uh, Pro K Lord. It's a Fire type. Whoa, that's like candles on his head. Okay, I guess it makes sense. I don't think I've seen the fire type Terra thing yet. Okay, I almost took it out. Round? Okay, it's not even a fire type move. Why would you Terra Slice and not go for a fire type move? Okay, now you're poisoned. Okay, you're you're almost you're basically dead already. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna switch out for Gimme Gold just for fun. It's gonna die to the poison basically. So yeah. Alright, I mean, your opponent's weak, get him treasure, although you're not gonna be one that's actually gonna get them, you're just gonna tank this hit. Let's try the new move of yours, use Incinerate, Croquet Lore. Okay, that's a powerful fire type move. Oh, okay, this actually might kill me, actually. This might have been a bad idea. Okay, almost did, but not quite. And the poison made him drop dead. Goodbye, Croquet Lore. Yeah, there we go. That's a pretty easy, but still a pretty fun battle. Okay, man, I really want to take on the gym, though. I've been, I've been recording for almost two hours by now. I mean, I'm, 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 pro I'm probably going to try to cut it down a lot, but still. Haha, <laughs> yep, your skills are ripening quick. Yep, just like fruit. Alright, is that it? What? Steenie's evolving? Oh! Steenie's going to evolve into Zarina now, I think. Let's see. Yep, there they are! There's Zarina, I recognize that cry from Pokemon Unite. You're seeing if on the Zarina. Let's go. A Zarina, the fruit Pokemon, a grass type. This Pokemon launches fierce yet elegant kicks with its long, slender legs. If you use Quill, Quill, Qua, Qualva as its rival. Okay, I don't know what Pokemon it is yet, but yep. That sounds like Zarina, all right. Being, using your powerful kicks. A Trop Kick? Yes, I want to learn that move. That's its, like, signature move, basically. It's a powerful grass move that lowers their attack stat, so... Uh, okay, let's keep Stomp, but I think we're going to get rid of Magical Leaf, because I think this is better. So, yeah. There we go. We finally got Zarina. That's incredible. I think Zarina should be ready. Actually, Zarina will be really good for taking on the Water-type gym now. I'm really looking forward to that now. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. Well, that was a great battle. Fruitful, for sure. Here, take these as thanks. Three full heals. Thank you. I'll charge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding, so I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now. Let's battle next time we run to each other at a gym. And in a situation, I hope you get even stronger. Like, way, way, way stronger. I sure will. Once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Alright, time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. Alright, sure thing. So, are my Pokemon healed? I think, does it like automatically heal my Pokemon, or am I gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center? I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I'll automatically heal my Pokemon. I don't have to worry. Also, wow. Look at, like, Zarina's pictures. She has, like, a really smug look on her face. It almost kind of reminds me of, like, the Sidueye. Like, the Sidueye has a face that looks kind of smug like that. Like, the like the eyes like that. I don't know. Just something about it. It's just very interesting. But I'm ready to take on the gym challenge now. Or battle Kofu. And Sidueye, I heard you, you reuni reunited Kofu with his wallet. I sure have. I can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym test passed. Okay. Ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Oh, he's a chef? Oh, it actually makes sense because he wanted the, the seaweed. So first we first we had a baker, then we had a an artist, now we have a chef. Okay, so like all the gym leaders have like, uh, I guess, uh, special uh, jobs or slash, uh, what was it, what did I say last time? Uh, uh, I forgot what it was. I forgot. Pro professions, professions. Okay, that's, a, that's basically a fancy word for job. Alright, but now let's finish this. Let's finish off this episode by beating the water type gym. I believe in you, Zarina. You can do this. Here we are. 
We are on the water. The, this is pretty cool. The water gym uh, arena is on the water right here. Wow, everyone's surprised. Everyone's cheering us on. And there's Kofu. Old man Kofu, play with us. Come on. I'd be honored you would try a new item for my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I got some business to take care of a gym leader. Like, real quick. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see. Please forgive me. I need to do this first. Uh, thank you. I really need to do this. Okay, everyone seems pretty respectful of that. Or right, come on, Kofu. I'm ready for you. I'm ready to take you on. Let's do this. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marina, Doug. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got the legendary seaweed, I'll kin some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in your battle here, okay? I'm expecting this to be kind of difficult, but hopefully Zarina will be able to carry me through this. I might just tear a slice right off the bat, to be honest, though. At the auction, we battle while buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Yep, that's definitely true. Moves and tactics ever-changing as the raging sea. I'm gonna serve you a full course of water-type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them, though. The, okay, I won't eat them. Although, if I had Pokemon moves like Bite, I might be able to, like, somehow... You know what? Never mind. That's weird. Let's just do this. You charge my gym leader, Kofu. Let's go. Okay, Veluza. Okay, yeah, that's a Pokemon I don't know right off the bat. It's like a shark or a piranha. I don't know. I feel a bit embedded to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Okay. Mold Breaker. Okay, I don't know what that, that does exactly. Okay. Should I go for Gra- Okay, it's, it's about the same level as me. I might want to go for grassy terrain so I boost my grass type moves, so let's actually try that first. Luck? Oh no, that's super effective against me. That's actually bad. Okay, and it's faster. It's also bad. Okay, I need. I think I need a slice for this. I want to see what tourist slice Zarina looks like, though. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, they're still gonna have like the same flowers in their head, probably, but they'll lo still look cooler, you know. Wait, does, like, does Tourist Slice have, like, affect, like, non-damaging moves, like, Grassy Terrain as well? I don't know. Let's just go for this. Come on, Sarina, Tourist Slice. Oh, wow. Okay, you look amazing. Wow, that's cool. It's, like, you got, like, the flowers in your head. It's, like, it's almost like you're wearing, like, sort of, like, a crown on your head, almost. I mean, like, because Sarina's, like, supposed to sort of be, like, a queen. Um, I'm almost dead. I, okay, I think I need to heal the potion after this. All right, Trop Kick, please be super effective. Oh, thank good, thank goodness. Okay, I, I was, I combined thank God with thank goodness. So I said thank Godness. I don't know. Okay, I, I think I need to use a potion. The what, what? A Wug Trio. I think it's the evolution of uh Wiglet. Alright, I'm right, sorry. Okay, I don't want to swap out. Never mind. Alright, Wug Trio. The yeah, we saw Wiglet and I was. Whoa, it looks completely different. It's like red. It's like coming out of the side of rocks. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's based off, like, a certain type of, like, a water-based plant. Also, okay, do, I don't want to mess this up. Okay, Zarina needs 80 HP, so, uh, I mean, I might just have to go for the hyper, or, I mean, will Super Potion work? Actually, wait, hold on, I have other items, too. I have fresh water, soda pop, uh, I think lemon, okay, I think lemonade might be the best option, or will it? I don't know. You know, I'll just go for a Super Potion. Let's see what that does. So I don't, I don't think Wiglet, or at least Wug Trio knows any uh, flying type moves like that last Pokemon did, so it shouldn't be able to uh, be super effective against me, hopefully. Alright, that was Headbutt. Alright, did some damage, but not much. And now let's go for another powerful Trop Kick. You got the Sorina. Okay, it's faster than me. Okay, I might need to heal again. Alright, Sorina, Trop Kick. Let's go. Awesome, way to go. Gooey, oh, lowers my speed when I knock it out, okay. Oh well, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Alright, now what's next? Uh, Crabonable. Oh. Okay, that's an ice... Wait, is it gonna... Is it gonna tourist? Actually, I might just keep Zarina in this and see if it's, if it's gonna tourist slice. The tides even flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Okay, so I think it's gonna... He's gonna tourist slice one. It's gonna become a, a water tier type. Normally, it's just a... I think it's just a... Wait, is it? Oh, it's already, is it already a water type, or is it just a... No, it's fighting ice. It's ice fighting. So I'm just gonna keep stay, keep Zarinus and go for Trop Kick. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. Okay, I mean... I'm kind of scared, though, because if it goes for an ice type move, it can probably easily take me out. Alright, let's see. Alright, uh, yep, it's a water tier type, just like I suspected. 
All right, wow. Okay, it's kind of scary. What's it gonna do to me? Slam! Oh, it missed! Wait, it goes, Reina. We need to dodge that attack. All right, those people cheering again. I really like that. Okay. Chop kick, please. We'll take it out. Yes! Way to go, Zarina. You're incredible. You one-shot at all of their Pokemon. I mean, I, I had to heal once, but, you know, let's just forget about that. All right. There we go. You can be a gym leader, Kofu. Awesome. Zarina's happy. Uh, nobody's happy. Fulton Vlazala. You're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, as I do say so myself. Okay. So I got, a lot, I got a lot of money from that. That was really nice. All right, now Zarina is back to normal. And that's the end of our awesome battle. Okay, wow, a uh, grassy train really helps there. Gahaha, a loss that's refreshing in the air is the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little match crop to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good, I'll tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second, reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over gym badge to you. And, get, and let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been waiting to try out for a while now. Sure thing. Let's see. What's gonna be... I'm curious. Uh, what? Wait, oh, oh, I guess it's one of those photos where, like, it's supposed to, like, look like, like, uh, the person, like, in the background is smaller than really are, and you're, like, holding them. That's what it's supposed to be, like, I've, I've seen, like, like, optical illusion videos on YouTube that, are, like, do play around and stuff like that. Or right, theme stream badge is now Pokemon up to level 35, but easier to catch and listen to me. Yep. Let me throw you this in, too, as an extra special bonus. Okay, it's a TM2, uh, TM Chilling Water. Okay. It's a time move that... User attacks the target music, showering at water so cold it, it saps the target's power and lowers the target's attack stat. Alright, it's about time I headed on back to my restaurant and got to prep in for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? Alright, I sure will. So yeah, that was, this was definitely a pretty crazy episode. Definitely pretty long, but I'm still happy with everything turned out. We caught a bunch of awesome Pokemon, we, uh, we beat this gym, we also, uh, leveled up a lot, and also got, uh, got Zarina now, it's awesome. Pardon me, hello. You used to feed the gym leader, yes? And your name is Anna Sichuai, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to becoming a champion? I sure do. Are you another elite Are you another elite four member? Because we met one earlier. That's what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high, greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I got a, I got in ahead of myself. Okay, what who what, who are you? I am Jita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I expect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Thank you. Alright, so... Okay, I think we're gonna end out the episode right here, guys. This is definitely a pretty long and crazy episode, but... Everything still worked out. It was great. We beat the gym. Okay, I already said this all earlier, but you know, we still beat the gym. We also uh, leveled our Pokemon and also got Zarina. That's incredible. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos in the series. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.